Hi there. Now for this last part, or I should say, say the last two parts here, we've got to plot the regression line that we calculated in E for this data here. It was P equals 45.5 plus 1.51T. We've got to plot this regression line on the scatter diagram for two marks. And then use your regression line to estimate the blood pressure of a 40-year-old patient for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check the final answer. Otherwise, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part F, first of all, then, we've got to plot this regression line on the scatter diagram. And to do this, what I would do would be, first of all, just to find out two points that are on this line. And I would start with t equals zero, always a good one, an easy one to do as well. When t equals zero, if you substitute it in here, p equals 45.5. And so that point is going to be, just say, somewhere about here, OK? And then we need another point. I'd suggest you don't take a point close to this one. If I was you, I'd go right to the end. And I'm going to choose 80. The further away your points are, the better chance you've got of joining them up and not making so much of an error. So we'll just say when t equals 80 for this example. When t equals 80, substitute it into here, you'll find that you get p equals 166.3. So if we put that point in, 80, and then go up here to 166.3, it's going to take you to about there. OK, so join those two points up. Now for the last part, it says use your regression line then to estimate the blood pressure of a 40-year-old patient for two marks. Now you could go up here on the 40, okay, and then look across here. It looks to be just above 100, okay. You could do it from the graph, or better still, why not use the equation that you've got here. All we've got to do is just say that when t equals 40, then substituting that into our equation, P will equal 45.5 plus 1.51 multiplied by 40. And the result we get is 105.9. And if I round this to, say, three significant figures, then it's going to be 106. And the units would be millimetres of mercury. OK? To three significant figures, 3SF for short. 